Roman Roads The Roman army invaded Britain in AD 43. Within four years, they had built more than 1,000 miles of roads connecting towns, ports and forts. Before that, British roads had been little more than dirt tracks, worn down through years of use. They didn't always follow the most direct route. Safe and direct. The Roman military was regularly on the move, so it was important to have safe, direct, hard-wearing roads throughout the Roman Empire. Good roads also made it easier to transport food, weapons and raw materials. Wherever possible, the Romans preferred to build straight roads. This made journeys quicker and safer because it was easy to spot enemies or thieves approaching. Milestones at the side of the road indicated the distance to or from Rome. People could use these to work out how far they had travelled and how far they still had to go. Planning and building The Roman army was tasked with planning and building roads. They sometimes used slave labour to get the job done. Making sure the road was straight was a challenge. To do this, engineers used a cross-shaped tool called a groma. It had a weight at each of its four ends. These could be lined up with each other and with beacons or bonfires that had been lit behind and ahead. Once the route was planned, soldiers or slaves cleared the area of rocks and trees. They then dug two parallel ditches, piling the earth into the middle and pushing it down to make a solid path. 1. First a base layer of large stones. 2. Next a layer of crushed stones, pebbles and cement. 3. Then a layer of cement mixed with broken tiles. 4. After that, a layer of paving stones cut to size so they neatly fitted together. 5. Finally, curb stones were laid along the outer edges to hold the paving stones in place and to drain away rainwater. The entire road had a slight camber, a slope towards either edge. This allowed water to drain off into the ditch or along the channel created by the curb stones. Roman roads today. Some of our main roads today still follow the route of these Roman roads. They were simply widened and then covered in asphalt. The A46 from Lincoln to Leicester follows the Foss Way, which used to connect Lincoln to Exeter while stretches of the A5 and A2 follow the most famous of all Roman roads, Watling Street. Next time you look at an Ordnance Survey map, see if you can spot any stretches of Roman road. They are usually labelled and, of course, they are very straight. <laughs>